whatever change affects Europe affects Slovenia. And the first being a big uh, shock, which was also foreseen, is uh, on the stock exchange. It will last uh, a couple of days, most probably. And then we will see. Michelle Obama said that thanks to Hillary Clinton, her daughters and all the kids of that generation will give her granted that a woman can be the president of the United States. And I think this is great. This election was hugely different. Uh, for the first time, it did have direct effects on Slovenian economy. So we can see a Melania effect in the numbers of tourists coming from the States. Both US Americans and Slovenians love to do business with the Germans. So the German economy is the channel through which all the shocks from the US economy come down on the Slovenian economy. It seems that there is a, a winning communication strategy in these elections uh, in that uh, publicity won over advertising. Uh, Hillary Clinton had more money, was spending more money on advertising than uh, uh, Donald Trump, while Donald Trump succeeded with his statements to get practically unlimited space in uh, both traditional and social media, and that worked for him. I can say that Slovenia love is conquering the world, right? This time. And the thing is that uh, this is a great opportunity for Slovenian business and the economy because it will be much easier if we look at the American market to enter and to really uh, penetrate into it because saying we have a first lady in the White House is something that will open many doors. Hillary was the one playing very much to this women's card and there was on the horizon the, the opportunity to have the first woman president in like the oldest democracy in the world that is United States. Slovenians, we do not get a vote in the American election, uh, but somehow Slovenia got into White House anyways. Slovenian companies should uh, really prove themselves now and show what they're made of because there will be an opportunity. Will they seize it? That's up to them.